I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com. Hear that buzzing sound? Well, what goes up in drone technology continues to go up. Anybody can start day one and be able to pick one of these things up and fly it. Um, whether or not they're going to frame their shots to the point of production use, that's you know, a whole other story. That comes with time and, and, and practice, but flying them, relatively easy. Um, I'd put the controller in my six-year-old's hands. Multicopter Warehouse took off like its drones, from selling out of a garage just months ago to online to now this brick-and-mortar store. Buyers are buzzing about it. My father's interested in a drone, even though he doesn't know it yet. He's a home builder, and he could use it as an aerial perspective around uh, the homes that he builds in order to uh, give a, a nice video for, for future clients. A high-flying eye in the sky. Any place where you would normally put somebody to inspect something, it's so much easier and usually safer to go fly a camera over there and get the pictures and then be able to process that later to get all the information that you need. From 45 bucks to bigger drones, bigger price tag, more high-tech stuff in them. Something like that, you're, you're only in about the $2,400, $2,500 price range. Now with some of the, the nicer copters, the, the higher dollar ones, you have GPS systems in them, barometers, compasses. The sky's the limit for next generation drones. You'll either uh, use your cell phone or a dongle or some other type of device on you so that the copter knows where you are and it can follow you around. This is going to be really interesting for BMX racers, snowboarders, skiers, water skiers to actually follow the action automatically without having to have a pilot sit there and do all those maneuvers. With Gazette reporter and new drone pilot in training, Debbie Kelly, Eric Singer, Gazette.com.